Okay, guys, so we're gonna get ready to marinate that beautiful whole chicken. So I, if you see my last video, you'll see exactly what's going into the chicken, all the ingredients. So I'm just gonna do a short little video of me just pampering that baby up and throwing it into the oven. All right, so let's get right to it. Okay, so as you see here, I have you know my little baggie here. Everything's nice and clean in my kitchen. And as I told you guys before, um, always make sure you do the extra mile with your chicken with um, making sure your meat's clean, especially due to the COVID. I've been doing some extra stuff too, but it's nice and clean. That's how you want your chicken all nice and pretty and ready to go. All right, so let's get to all the ingredients here and get them going up in that chicken. <laughs> on this lovely Saturday and I just love that at my windows are like the, the sunshine is going right through my windows I love that it's a nice sunny day on the east side all right so the first thing I do is I poke my chicken up a little bit guys and you should know this if you see me watch if you watch my videos and you're one of my faithful subscribers and watch my videos you'll know how I do a lot of this stuff all right so push that back so I just give it a few pokes around so that way, why do I do that? And I make pockets to make sure it gets all that great seasoning inside the chicken. All right. Now, the chicken, the whole chicken does have a nice pocket to begin with right in the middle, through the neck and through the bottom, bottom side. So you have all that, that, that you know, extra space and pocket where you can stick a lot of that good flavor in. So this one, I just pretty much just poke it around just a little bit on the outside. Use a fork, a little knife, whatever suits your boat. All right, so once you do that and your chicken's nice and clean. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to face you downward with my phone so you can kind of see. Hopefully this works for me. There we go. Yeah. So you can kind of see all the stuff I'm sticking in. Now, I just let the chicken sit in this bag for maybe about like 20 minutes, and then I stick it in the oven, okay? All right, so let's go for it. So the first thing I wanna do is do that caldo de pollo. This goes inside my chicken, because this has a lot of flavor, and if you've seen my videos before, I use this a lot. Those of you, my faithful subscribers. <laughs> um, and I just rub it all up inside the chicken. Do you see my hand? I'm just marinating that inside really good with my fingers, get the little tail to the butt, all that good stuff, okay? That goes inside, that's what I do with this. The other half I do for the outside. So this is the other half for the outside. So this is, um, these cubes are very small, um, but they do have a lot, a lot of extra flavors. So I like using these in my rice. I use them for everything in my kitchen. Um, these are not, you know, you can use them for whatever you want in your kitchen. Like I said, they're not like one of those seasonings that you cannot use on certain things. This goes a long way with a lot of good stuff. And remember, it's your kitchen, so make it your own. Um, all right, so the next thing I do is do the all-purpose adobo. Inside and outside the chicken, y'all. Same thing. Okay, you want a nice, tasty chicken and a crispy to the outside. Make sure you use all these ingredients to give it an extra punch. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and wash my hands a little bit here. And we're gonna add in the three packets of salsone. Now this gives it color and a lots of flavor to the chicken, so. Okay, again, outside of the chicken. And make sure you do the inside of the chicken. I do mostly outside with the salsone because I want my chicken to look really pretty for presentation. Always, um, salsone always gives beautiful, beautiful, great flavor and also great uh, color to your meat. And then just make sure you get that baby real good. Like I said, don't be afraid to play with your meat and make sure it looks pretty for later. All right, and like I said, sesame stains it does, um, but if you wash your hands right away, you, you'll be good. Like I like to use gloves. Don't get me wrong, but I do like to feel my meat when I'm when I'm doing this kind of stuff because I just I don't know I don't know it's just me I just like doing it without gloves. Now if I'm doing like pasteles where I gotta be a little bit more you know then I'll do the gloves because my hands are always clean. 
All right. So we're going to go for that uh, go uh, roasted garlic herb. And this has extra power for flavor. This is going to give a nice crisp to the chicken. Absolutely delicious, guys. Make sure you get under those wings, under the ar armpit of the wings of the chicken. All those little uh, spots where, you know, you wouldn't think you really need to add some flavor. All right. So just make sure you spread the love in the chicken. All right. And that's going to give it a beautiful 10x flavor to that crunch to that chicken as you do the uh, roastery on the chicken as well. All right. So last but least, we still have that, um, that butter and we also have the sofrito. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the sofrito. This is on um, a one third. Okay. And I mainly put this inside of my chicken. Okay. So I do most of that inside and just a very teeny bit on the outside. Okay, so like just little drips, and then I'll rub that in in a minute. Okay, because like I said, whenever you put ingredients inside a chicken, a whole chicken, and you, uh, you're you doing a roastery, all that is gonna push out to, to the meat, so that's why I do it that way, as it's flipping, you know? All right, so here goes, here goes our, uh, sorry Cheetah, I just stepped on my baby, are you okay? All right, she's always in the kitchen. That's what she gets. <laughs> All right, grassland salted butter. Okay, so like I said, this is a one-third. That's a lot of butter, but again, it's going to all drip off into my pan, into my little mini oven, so it's not going to be like it's going to be a lot, as I mentioned earlier. All right, so what I do for uh, the butter I actually, let me bring this a little closer. Hopefully you can see. There I am. Okay. So let me start off by taking the paper off. All right. Real quick. And I already have my um, oven on a, on a uh, 350 degree. Okay. And you're going to let this cook. This is a whole chicken. You're going to let this, it's a family, family size whole chicken. You're going to let that cook for about, I would say about, uh, 45 minutes to an hour on that high 350 and then maybe give it another 20 minutes turn it down and then bring bring that bad boy back up so like i said there, it's there's a lot of ways you have to cook with love and what i mean is you have to make sure your, your temperatures are good um the way you you know play with your stove um that's what i would say to everybody out there uh far as cooking with love that's what I mean there's lots of different ways you have to pay attention to your food in order for it to cook lovely all right so if you see I made a couple of chops here of the butter all right and the reason for that is I'm going to throw a couple of these bad boys inside the chicken all right so and I'll give you a closer look of everything once I'm done and then the rest of these I'm just going to put around the chicken okay so you're going to see how I do that in one sec Get rid of this. All right, this way I'm able to give you guys a close-up. And then here's my beautiful, lovely, um, where I go to roast, roast it up. And same thing I use for my daughter's birthday, my mini oven works best um, to grip that, um, that chicken up. Same thing I use for the uh, shoulder pork is what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna keep it moving. Because this gal got lots to do. I just want to get things done because it's almost like the kids are still like literally in school. But the parents have more that they have to do to be on top of their kids or whatnot. So it is a lot harder. Okay, so right there my oven tells me it's nice and warm to where I want it before I put the the um, the whole chicken in the my, my uh, Sharpie stick here so it can rotate. Um, so, you know, I don't want it to be hot when I put the chicken in there so I don't burn myself. All right, so... I'm going to give you a close-up, okay? Let's do a flip side. All right, so that's the back of the chicken. And if you see all those great flavors, oh, my God. And so this is like the, the sofrito, and I'm just going to tap it on there because I don't want to mess up the, the herb that I put on there. Okay, let's get this out the way. And that's that little piece of that um, back tail to the chicken. That's what this is. And you just throw it right inside, give it a nice little 
pinch inside that chicken and look at that look at that now that's some nice, nice marinated whole chicken all right so that's what it should look like guys okay let me flip back again and put you this way that way you can see all right so like i said i have a bag here okay where i'm gonna be putting that in putting the chicken in to marinate for a little bit and it's just gonna sit right here in my sink just just in, by the time i prep everything up in my mini oven and get this poked up it's ready to go in all right so all the rest of that butter is just gonna go right on top of the chicken okay and just find like little spots for it if, if you want you, those same little holes that you made you can throw them in there same thing like you would do a like I did with the garlic with the bendy as well. Just find little spots. Um, you can also, um, in the on the breast of the chicken and the front of the chicken, you can actually take that skin and, and make a little pocket, just like that. Make a little opening so you can stick some more of that butter in. And I'll show you that in one second. All right, you can do it this way. Let me just bring this up. You can make a hole like this and stick that butter right in there. See, voila. Or you can go ahead and make a pocket. How cool is that? And throw a lot of ingredients in there. And I know a lot of people do this. I'm not the only one that does, does this, I'm sure. But I mean, those of you that, you know, just kind of like, because I know a lot of people that just rub their chicken on top and just throw it in. I mean, if you want good chicken, you better do it the right way and treat that chicken right and you'll get a good chicken. So that's basically what I'm doing right now. Just throwing all that salted butter <clears throat> into that pocket. And I'm going to give you one more up close. And then you'll see the aftermath in my next video once I have it up in my mini oven. All right, so let's just take a look. All right, so there you have it. See? All that pocket is filled with that butter, very nice. And that's gonna melt easily, or you can do it that way, like I said. So, there it is. And we're gonna say bye-bye for like 20 minutes. And that'll give me time. And I just let it sit just like that, it's fine. All right, so like I said, it's your kitchen, make it your own. Okay, so stay tuned for my next video, please don't miss it.